do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter study of animal tissue in that we are studying topic connective tissue now if you break that word connective it means a tissue that helps to connect two different organs a tissue that's found in your heart let's study and find out about it now if you come around connected tissue these are the kinds of tissue that help and support all other tissues of your body they are one of the type of animal tissues that are present in animals these tissues are basically made up of cells matrix and fiber like substances now matrix we can simply say it resembles somewhere to cytoplasm but it is not exact cytoplasm matrix is a supporting grounding substance or the substance that's actually present between intracellular spaces now this matrix or this kind of tissues can consist of organic or inorganic substances which are nothing but glycoproteins or glycoaminoglycans now this kind of tissue is present in your skin in your blood vessels and your different organs they form a packaging material most of the time they allow packaging material they form a soft web around blood vessels and your blood vessels can thoroughly pass through in the presence of this tissue connective tissue or the tissue that connects different organs or different other tissues and help them to adhere or stay together now it basically connects and support all other tissues of the body whether it is your epithelium whether it is your nervous or your muscular tissue this tissue is made up of cells matrix and fiber type of substances now matrix is a supportive or grounding substance or you can say a intracellular material which is present in the middle or you can say free spaces beside or beneath the cells matrix consists of fiber like substances it consists or contains of organic as well as inorganic substances like your structural glycoproteins now if we try and understand where connective tissue could be found it is basically found in your muscles 
in your blood vessels or just surrounding your blood vessels now they basically act as a packaging material or you can say they act as a material in which your blood cells limb cells plasma cells could be packed and transferred they help in healing process now whenever there's a wound or there's a rash or a cut connected tissue form or you can the process of prothrombin formation fibrinogen or clotting is also covered by finally by a layer of connective tissue which is slight but present it forms soft bed around blood vessels now blood vessels 90% times consist of connective tissue and since blood vessels reach every part of your body adhering or connected to connective tissue makes them more flexible makes their junctions more tight and they can roam around the periphery inside the body and finally connective tissue has the most important function they connect different parts of your body now whether i talk about connecting the muscular tissue to the nervous tissue or i talk about connecting the nervous tissue to your epithelial tissue the tissue that's lying in between all of them is your connective tissue that's why the name was derived connective something that connects everything students in this part of the chapter we came across connected tissue how was connected tissue made what is the structure of connected tissue what could be the various functions of connected tissue and why connected tissue is such an important tissue it's not that that other tissues like epithelial nervous or your muscular tissues are not that important but if there is any commonality or anything that's in between all these tissues or forms a layer between them or juncture between them it's your connective tissue which is more formally found in your blood vessels whether it is capillaries arteries vein your cardiac muscles or heart moreover consists of connective tissue i hope students we are very clear with this concept of connective tissue thank you